Chios is the fifth largest Greek island that lies on the eastern side of the Aegean Sea. It has a laid-back atmosphere, little family resorts and incredible natural beauty. Chios is particularly famous for its uh, mastic production, its uh, numerous monasteries and secluded beaches. Beaches in uh, Chios have lovely surroundings and clear water. Emporios, Mavravolia and uh, Carfas are just a few of the famous ones. Most of them, even though being rather remote, are still organized with uh, tourist facilities. Driving around the island is a must, as visitors will find many secluded and some unorganized Kios beaches, perfect for a total relaxation and privacy. Carfas is a small town located at 7 km south of the Kios town. It is among the most popular destinations on the island, attracting high amounts of tourists due to its cosmopolitan beaches, studios, residences, clubs, restaurants and cafes. Located 16 km northwest of the town of Chios, Lakata is a picturesque village with an amazing natural beauty as the scenery combines the sea with the mountains. Due to the historical continuous attacks in the area, residents were mostly sailors and fishermen. In Lagada today, visitors can rent rooms or apartments and enjoy traditional seafood and appetizers in restaurants and taverns along the port. Driving around the Kios Island is really pleasant as it has a good network of roads that help you reach every corner of the island with ease. Regardless of being a coastal drive or a pass through the mountains, you are always going to see great scenery. As a tourist there, I also advise you to get a smaller car as some of the streets are very narrow. Another must-see objective is the Mastic Museum, a place where modern architecture meets more than 2,500 years of tradition. The Kios Mastic Museum aims to showcase the production history of the mastic tree cultivation and processing of its resin, which integrates into the cultural landscape of Kios. When you visit Chios, you must see also at least some of the fortified villages built in the 14th century during the Genovese rule. These villages had an economy based on mastic cultivation, a sap from the mastic trees that are unique to this island. The most impressive villages are Mesta, Olympi and Pirgi. These villages are away from the sea and surrounded by high walls and had a central tower that was the last resort in case the walls were breached by the Arabic pirates. The streets were also designed not only for defensive purposes with narrow labyrinth-like alleys that would confuse the invaders, but also enabled the villagers to attack them from above using the walkways and arches that connected the buildings. In the north of Chios and shortly after Schiada village lies the picturesque chapel of Ajo Isidoro or Saint Isidore. There you will also find a bay with a beach that has fine pebbles and crystal clear water. It's one of the most photographed places and also a great spot for snorkeling.
one and a half kilometer north of the city of Kios, in an old craft industry zone, you will find four restored windmills that serve the needs of the neighboring tanneries. There are more mills on Kios, which I will let you discover alone. There is nothing like taking a break and cool down at the pool, enjoy a coffee, a snack or a glass of wine on the terraces built on the slope of St. George in Carfas. Here you are going to find a lot of peace and relaxation. The famous Mavra Volia beach is spectacular and unlike any other. It is so special due to its black and rounded pebbles which came from a volcano explosion that took place a long time ago and got eroded constantly by the sea. The water is crystal clear, deep and usually colder, so it's just perfect for a refreshing swim. The beach is divided in two parts, the second one is also known as Foki. The small port of Emporio is next to Mavra Volia, where you can also find some cafes and uh, taverna. Agia Dinami is one of the most beautiful beaches of the island. Located 7 km south of Olympi village, she gets her name from the monastery Agia Dinami. It differs from the other beaches of the island due to its turquoise water and white sand. The wonderful beach of Liti is located in a cove west of Kios town. It has soft sand, clear water and slopes very gently making it absolutely perfect for children. You will also find there a small seaside settlement behind the beach which is famous for excellent fresh fish and seafood brought by the fishermen on daily basis. Komi is located in the southern part of Kios, very close to the village of Kalamoti. The water is clean and warm, it has umbrellas, sunbeds and showers. There are also several restaurants, fast food tavernas with fresh seafood and several shops. It is also a good place for snorkeling as it has a canyon-like rock formation bursting with wildlife to see.